to show you our universal motor speed control trainer kit order code is 46529 so this is the trainer kit there are two potentiometer rv1 and rv2 these are the mimic diagram given on the trainer kit this is the main switch to turn on or off the kit this is user manual and patch con this is included with this trainer kit and to do this experiment we will need a universal motor Our first experiment is to observe half wave controller without feedback. The, this is the circuit diagram, this is the connection that we need to make. So first, connect this with the motor. and this terminal will be connected to this resistor R1. Now from this point, we connect this diac and this terminal of diac will be connected to the ACR. Now this end of the ACR will be connected here and this end of the SCR will be connected with the motor this terminal. Now keep this potentiometer at fully anticlockwise position. Start rotating the potentiometer clockwise and observe that the motor is starting and measure the speed of the motor. You can measure the speed of the motor with the help of a tachometer. Like this, set it to fully clockwise position. So you can see that the speed of the motor can be controlled to any value between minimum and maximum by the setting of this potentiometer. Because no feedback has been provided for speed control, the no, lo the no load to load speed of the motor will decrease. Our next experiment is half wave controller with feedback. So this is the circuit diagram that we are going to build to perform this experiment. So first connect this here and from here from the here the CR2 it will be connected with ACR1. Now ACR1 will be connected here and from this one, from this point we will connect with the motor and The another end of the motor will be connected here. Now keep the potentiometer at fully anticlockwise position. Give the connection and slowly rotate the potentiometer to clockwise direction till the motor starts to rotate. Observe the speed of the motor. We further rotate the potentiometer and notice the change in speed. You can see that except for lower setting of potentiometer, the speed of the motor remains almost constant.
also the no load to load variation in speed is minimum. Our next experiment is full wave controller using triac and demonstrating high hysteresis effect improved by gate slaving techniques. So, for this we are going to build this connection. This is full wave controller using triac. So, first connect this point to this terminal of motor and connect the other end of the motor here at C. Now from here at point E connect R4 and from here at point Q connect the triac, this one is the triac. So, connect this. Now connect this point here to the motor. to this terminal of the motor and connect this with this C2. Now plug the main loads to the main socket and switch on the kit. Now slowly rotate the potentiometer clockwise direction till the motor starts to rotate. can measure the rotating speed of the motor with the help of a tachometer and you will notice that an infinite range of motor speed can be obtained from very low to full power speed like this. 